This sucks. I was just hoping I could get this done today. It's not the end of the world. Minor else, this could be much worse. Now I gotta get back to work here. I got a lot of, a lot of work to do. You have to just put stuff out there. It's not gonna be perfect at first, but you're gonna get better. So wherever you are right now, put in the work. You can change your reality. What's up guys? Downtown, let's take a lift here. Got a MacBook for a really good deal. And it was gonna be like 60 bucks each way for a lift. I was like, Fuck this, what can I do? It was like, maybe I could do a zip car for the first time ever. I've never done this. And I don't know where this car is. I'm looking all over for it right now. I can hear it honk. Watch, so I'm gonna click a button and it'll honk and I can't find it, watch. All right, just click the button. It's coming from somewhere over here. I don't, ah. Uh. Oh guys, I found it from the top of this sixth floor of this building. But on the very top, they didn't tell me where the car was. So a little bit behind, but we're good to go. So I'm heading to get this MacBook Pro. He listed it 900. I got him down to 825. Really good deal. But yeah, this is really exciting for me because I finally use a computer that's my own. I don't necessarily need the office if I don't want to use that office. Hopefully this MacBook's good. We'll see. All right. So we got the MacBook, baby. We got it. In all its glory with a charger, we are good to go. 825. It's pretty crazy. Four months. We got our own place. We got a MacBook. We got no bills. And we got grit. We got grit, baby. All right, what's going on? It is, what's today? Friday. Friday, Friday. Okay, to start up the day, I, and I gotta jump in real quick here. I lined up a call with an industry analyst at creditcards.com to tell me, hey Mike, this is what your credit score would be right now. <laughs> because part of building a business is like having a credit so you can use a credit card to buy things like ads. So I'm gonna jump in right now. Really special guest with me today, Ted Rossman, expert when it comes to all things credit. Ted, welcome to this conversation. Hey Mike, thanks for having me. What would you recommend that I do? Is this a situation where like, hey, maybe you should just focus on getting a loan if you're scaling ads versus scaling ads with, with a credit card? I think the traditional credit card route is going to be tough. And there's this whole class of FinTech cards now. So financial technology companies like startup oriented credit cards, these realize that a lot of young adults in particular don't have credit. So they're gonna look beyond the credit score. For example, the pedal card, this is a card where they take a really detailed look at your income and your outflows, and they're gonna look way beyond the credit score. That's amazing advice, especially for <clears throat> the other people that are listening that might be trying to start a business or just get credit in general. What would you assume maybe my credit score could be now if it was 500 four months ago and haven't had any missed payments? Unfortunately, it does take some time. They actually require six months of history to even generate a score. I think more likely in this kind of scenario, you probably would have started just totally unscorable. I think it's possible to get into the 600s within about six months, maybe even low 700s, especially if you're doing some of these strategies. So for the rest of the day, I'm meeting up with the other person who wants to live in the, the house. And then from there, go to FedEx, get these stickers printed, bring the stickers back, slap on the bags. Oh, one more thing. I also have to get the lease to everyone. So I have to create the lease today. That's gonna be so much fun. I'm not excited if you guys couldn't catch my sarcasm. Hey. Oh, this is my buddy Logan. Yeah, so this is the whole place. Uh, the different prices per room. It's kind of first come, first serve. The area is really cool. Quick scooter ride or a bike ride. Take this segue, man. Oh, did you bring that with you? Oh, dude, you gotta whip that out. You wanna show us this segue? This is pretty awesome. Dude, this is freaking cool. Oh, wow. Logan, you're always filming, I'm gonna get you. I don't know how to use this though. <laughs> Well, cool stuff, man. Well, hey, it was great meeting you in person. So I'll, I'll send that over today, and then if you need anything, just let me know. <laughs> Sounds good, see you, man. I really like him a lot. So now we are heading to FedEx to get these stickers printed. Now, hopefully, hopefully, very hopeful, this works. <laughs> Would suck if these labels don't work out, but we'll, we'll find out. This didn't work. Pretty much, onlinelabels.com, 
where I got these stickers. It said eight and a half by 11 inches for the sheets and it's actually 1 16th of an inch off. Unbelievable. The problem is there's like a little tiny white strip at the bottom of the sticker and at the top because of that 16th of a freaking inch. This sucks. I was just hoping I could get this done today. It's not the end of the world. Minor L's, not the end of the world by any means. It could be much worse. Now I gotta get back to work here. I got a lot of, a lot of work to do. I just finished creating a sublease agreement and then it's a first come first serve. So whoever wants the master better f sign quick. All right, that was quick. <laughs> I know Alex really wanted the big room. I sent it to him and I got an email <laughs> that it was signed. So he's in baby. Ugh, this is coming together. Officially one person signed the lease and we have two more rooms to fill. Easier said than done though, guys. But, 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 you find a good deal, you hop on it, you execute a little, you put a little work in. Maybe you can pull off a rent hack. And then once you do a rent hack, maybe that's your first step into the real estate world. Then you're like, I like acquiring properties. I like finding good deals. Even though you guys don't got this right here. See that thing? That's 99.9% Ashkenazi. 99.4% Ashkenazi. I can sniff out a deal unlike you've ever seen. It's in my blood. Sorry. But that's it, guys. It is 848 here in Austin, Texas. I gotta get to the econ biz because we didn't get enough done. And a bad day with the stickers. This weekend has to go well so we can get on track. We got a lot more to do. Didn't really film too much this weekend, so I'll catch you guys all up. Some good news and bad news. Good news is I think I figured out the sticker solution. I can print them at UPS. The bad news. The bad news is I ended up uh, firing our Shopify developer. Took too long. I kind of wish I just did it myself. This is ridiculous. Hopefully the new guy can like get it good for tomorrow. Get these first bags out the door. But it's time to move. It's time to move. So like social media stuff, good to go. Both on Instagram and TikTok. I just can't wait to make our first sale, so. How we looking? Throwing stickers on these guys. The stickers came out incredible. It only took me buying a printer, returning the printer, going to FedEx, and then going to UPS. Wow. <laughs> By the way, you have a you have a pretty good something on your lens. That looks like a scratch. You want me to wipe it? No, I'll get it. I'll get it with this thing that you use to wipe it. What is that? I don't know, it's probably, I don't think it's anything serious. Got scared for a sec. I know that's an expensive lens. Yeah. How much was that lens? About 25. <sighs> Guys, taking pictures. I'm using an iPhone. I don't need no fancy camera gear or any of that stuff. I'm gonna pour some beans on this and then I'm gonna lay out my product. It's a bag of beans, bean life. Got our coffee ready to go. This is the new brand right here. We're not allowed to show the camera until the project's done. What's the honest opinion? What do you think of the uh, the label? Good, it's clean. Yeah, this is our dark roast and we have, uh, oh, the other ones are over there. We haven't bagged the medium or the light roast yet. All right. Oh my God, it smells so good. There's the good stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be crunchy. You swallow it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just chew it up. I'm never eating a coffee bean. I'm gonna be throwing up later. <laughs> Take some pics. Actually, this is a good picture with like this with the beans. I guess we should wrap up for the day. We wanna go somewhere else. Um, all the stickers applied. I took a bunch of photos on my phone. Yeah, I just gotta get these things done for the website. So right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm like uploading all the photos. I'm gonna organize them, be able to get it to my team so they can do what they need to do. Hopefully this new guy can crush. His name's James. James, I am freaking counting on you, man. If he doesn't, I'm gonna have to step in because I can't wait any longer. This is getting absurd, but that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, Logan's still in the house. <laughs> on the late night, my client's TikTok. One of his videos just went semi-viral, which is super cool. I gave him some advice. I was like, hey, let's try to do this type of content. I bet you we'll get a lot of viewership and it worked. So that was fun. What the hell have I been working on? I don't even remember. I have such a bad memory. You just blacked out. I literally just blacked out. I'm gonna work blackout. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I said this yet, but I'm almost positive I'm gonna get try to get hard money alone to cover like $2,000 of like, this rent hack because I need to put money into marketing. I'm gonna run TikTok ads, I'm gonna run Instagram ads. It's gonna be really fun.
That's a scoop. It is the, what, 10th? Holy shit, it's a four, four months anniversary. I just realized that. What is it? Oh, it's nine o'clock. This time, four months ago, guys, this same time, I was thinking about sleeping on a bench. Isaac didn't pick me up until 11 o'clock. This same time, four months ago, homeless. I, I remember that was such a feeling of defeat. It was such a feeling of defeat. I was like, oh my God, I did not pull it off today. To be in that situation, just build something out of nothing. Man, I love, I, I love it. I love it. You can change your life, guys. You can change your life. Whatever you want to do, you can fucking do it, guys. You can do it legitimately. Like this isn't just about like going from homeless to whatever. The only reason I did that was so you could see that I was starting at a lower point than you. Most likely if you're watching. If you're like, I hate my job. I fucking can't stand my fucking job. Quit, save up some money, downsize, quit. Figure out what you want to do. Uh, if you lost your job, who the f cares? If your health, family has your health, great. And if you're happy, then you don't have to work. Chill on a beach, drink a pina colada. <laughs> do whatever you, makes you happy. I think, my opinion, you live once, work super hard for what you want, and set up, this is what it's all about, set up. Set up the life that you want. And then it's a matter of how bad do you want it? Are you willing to put in the work? Most people aren't. That's my rant, I'm going to bed. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this week's video. Sorry I wasn't in it this week, I'll be back soon. If you enjoyed this week's video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you wanna get notified every time Mike and the team releases a new one, hit that notification bell, and thanks so much, we'll see you next week.